Hi everyone, I'm Corinne from Homestead Window Treatments and today we have Susan Grant, a color expert and owner of Color Envy Design. We're going to talk today about how to choose the perfect color for your window treatments. When you research how to choose the perfect color window treatment, the first thing that comes up is undertones. So Susan, how would you define undertones and what do they mean to you? This is my favorite question. Thank you for asking. Undertones are subjective words that we all use to describe color based on how we view them in our own context and light that we are working in. So when people are trying to select a color based on what they see here on the internet, that might not be the best way to finalize your color selection because undertones really change with light and context. So that's one of the main messages I get out on my social media is that um, change the light, change the context, change the perceived color. So undertones are subjective terms, not facts. So that plays perfectly into um, when you need to select your paint and window treatments together and how you, uh, you know, your strategy for that. When you book an appointment at Homestead Window Treatments, we always recommend that you start with an in-home consultation, especially when it comes to choosing the color of your window treatments. And Susan is going to explain why. The best reason to have someone come to your home is because of something called metamorism. And metamorism is a phenomenon of color, which is mistakenly all over the internet as when a paint color looks different from space to space or room to room. That's not metamorism. Metamorism is when two samples appear to have color harmony in one space, like the showroom or the paint store, and then do not have that same harmony when you take it home. So samples do not shift proportionally. So just because they look like they might be bluer in your ha uh, in the store, that doesn't mean they might look a little bit greener but still match in your home. They might look, mm. one might look green, one might look yellow because the light affects both samples differently because they're both a different material. Paint is going to reflect light differently than fabric does. So it's best to have someone come into your home to help you finalize all your selections for your uh, home renovations. Okay, Susan, can you show me some examples of metamorism? Here are vignette modern Roman shades. Here are um, some examples of whites. Perfect. Oh, I love this. Okay, so let's. The first one I'd like to address is the one that might appear gray. Uh, the other thing that I'd like to actually point out that you might not be seeing these samples the same way that we see them in person, which is another reason to not really finalize selections based on how they look online because computer screens and phones and devices read um, color differently. So that's the one little bit of uh, advice and tips and tricks I can give you. And so what I did earlier was I tried to, in the, in the room here, uh, match up what might look like a good match to this gray fabric here. And this is Sherwin-Williams Sight White, a beautiful color in some spaces, not a beautiful color in others. And so here, these appear to have a beautiful harmony together, these two, okay? This might look like a plain white to you, but it has a similar um, color family as this gray fabric there. So just because it looks like it works in this space doesn't mean it's going to look like that in your home, which is why we want people to come and visit you and help you make your selections in your final lighting uh, selection at your house. The other colors I've chosen here, this is Greek Villa, also from Sherwin-Williams. That might look best in this light. Here they have a similar color family. Uh, factually, they do. And just because they look the same in the showroom and they look like they match you, doesn't mean it's gonna look that way in your house. And same thing with the screen. So you might be seeing this on the screen and saying those don't look like they match at all. Here they look like the perfect match. So again, it makes our point. And then we have also another color that uh, we have a Benjamin Moore cotton balls, very popular white. People use it for walls and for trim. And this also could be a lovely match to this color here, uh, but might look completely different on the screen and also look different in your home. So when we hold these colors together, to totally show our point here. We don't know how you're going to see it on your device, but based on all these different colors now that you're looking at, you can certainly see how um, different they look in person and how you see they them do. on screen might be completely different. So let me give you a scenario. A designer comes to a customer's home and the customer can't decide between two or three colors. And now we've left the samples with them to decide. What do they do with those samples? How do they make their decision? Ah, this is a great question, especially when you are torn between two colors that seem very, very similar. Right. Um, the first thing I always suggest, it's a little tip and trick that you won't see a lot on the internet, is the direction that you hold your samples in. 
not so much which window they're facing, that's another issue, but holding them vertically if you are going to be using the paint or uh, wall coverings on a wall, all right? So what you don't wanna do is what you see all over the internet is like a flat lay where you kind of put everything together and you, you look at them this way on the floor with all your samples. That is not going to work because of something called geometric metamerism, which means that the way the light hits the sample affects the way we perceive the sample. So your two okay. samples might have color harmony when you hold them this way, but if you're holding them like this, they will appear to have a different relationship to each other. If you are, yeah, and if you're doing it on a ceiling, a lot of people are also um, decorating the fifth wall, which is the ceiling and, mm -hmm. and decorating, and so you might be doing a wall covering or a paint. So in that situation, I would suggest that you make certain that you hold whatever sample you're considering for your ceiling this way, okay, because the way the light hits it completely changes the way that you perceive the color, and that affects the relationship that the two samples have to each other. We hope this video has been helpful for you in choosing the color of your window treatments. If you have any further questions, you can give Homestead Window Treatments a call at 631-423-5782, or you can DM us on any of our social media sites. If you have any questions about paint color, you can reach out to Susan Grant. Thank you so much. You can best reach me through DM on my Instagram, which is uh, at color NV design fully spelled out. If you'd like to text me or call me, it's 631-629-5577. I would love to hear from you. Great. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing your expertise on pink color. Thank you so much for having me. I was delighted to be invited and I would like to make a special thank you to Mark and the entire team at Homestead Window Treatments for inviting me to do this wonderful collaboration with you. So I'm so grateful and thankful to be here. Thank you. Oh, it was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.